Hey, everyone. So, uh, Kurt, and I'm going to put a link to his channel. I guess it is. His channel's on, like, deep thought stuff. It's amazing. <laughs> but um, he, he, he had this thing, which actually I think it's probably a somewhat common thing, is that people want to, like, le- be watching something on YouTube and, and probably fall asleep, but have the video pause after a set amount of time. And so he was working on a script, doing a loop, and, and just uh, working through it and asked if we had any ideas. And so um, Isaiah and I were chatting, and, and he had come, I had a different approach. But he came up and he's like, why don't we just, you know, look for the last time the mouse was moved. And, you know, hey, if the mouse <laughs> has moved, it, hopefully someone's awake and you listen like me and you're snoring and your hand is on the, the thing. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so... And then he was just walking me through what he built here. So let's let's take a look at this. Yeah. So basically, uh, here's the deal. What we have here is um, the the issue that he was ex- uh, experiencing, and probably I should show the original. Maybe I should show the original so you could see what the issue was and what is it that I made to solve it. Um, it was he showed us um, a specific script that he was doing with the timer, right? So he had a toggle here, had a sleep timer, and then he was doing this sleep 30 times 60 times, uh, sorry, times 1,000 times 60. So that means 30, uh, well, he was actually doing it the, the other way around, which is 30 seconds times 60. <laughs> so that means like, you know, he was trying to do 30 minutes, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. A thousand now, times sixty. Yeah. Yeah. It would. It, it was times being. It, it was sixty times one thousand. Right. So. Yeah. It doesn't matter in the end. But uh, his issue was that as soon as this sleep timer was going into effect, sure. this <laughs> this this script was locked, and he was like, "Okay, so I don't want it to continue playing and so on." But then, as soon as the sleep timer goes on, like I cannot do anything. Yeah. And uh, you and I we covered. Uh, in a different video, something very similar. And my, uh, my recommendation was whenever you have these very big timers, just make it into chunks of one second each. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. So first of all, uh, my main, uh, I, I just set up a variable here to keep track of how many minutes I want the loop to actually, uh, this is kind of like the timer. I want a 30 minute timer or probably a one minute timer. It doesn't matter. This is my toggle. It's going to be toggled. And now this is the funny thing. I'm going to go into an infinite loop. Now, whenever you have an infinite loop, the first thing you have to do is have a way to go out of that loop. In our case, it's going to be a toggle. And in some other cases that I'm going to show you later, uh, it could be kind of like a limit how many times you want that to happen before you break. But the first thing in whenever you have an infinite loop is have a way to go out of there. If you don't have it, you're going to enter, you know, an infinite loop. Now, after that, we are actually checking for uh, YouTube. And now we start with what I was talking about. So in this case, I'm going to multiply the minutes that I put here, maybe 30, um, multiply it by 60 which is 60 seconds, each minute would be 60 seconds. And for each of those, I'm going to sleep for one second. So that's where I'm going to start with a 30 minute timer here, which also obeys the toggle. So if I press the toggle, it would also break out of the loop. Okay. Um, And again, I am making the sleeps 1000 milliseconds, that means one second long. So in, in case that I want to do any other stuff down here, I will be able to. My script is not going to be locked for 30 minutes. You know what I mean? It's just going to be lo- lo- locked for one second. Now, after the 30 minutes passed, I'm going to show a little GUI saying like, hey, if there's no activity, then the video will be paused. And in there, I'm just going to go ahead and enter a specific loop. Now, this loop here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, um, for, I don't know, one minute or less, it's just because it takes a little time for you to just move the mouse or press a key on the keyboard. Um, I'm going to set this up to 30 or something like that, but I was playing with this guy here. I don't know if you have tried this, the input hook. Have you ever tried with the input hook before? Um, I think when I was debugging something, you know, lo- looking for pressing a key or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, maybe, maybe remember. in this case, uh, it is the same as the input command. I don't know if you know that one. So the input command just waits for you to type something. Well, the input hook actually does something similar, but it is a little bit more advanced. That's what's going on. I was just playing a little bit with it. Um, in, in this case, the first thing is that I want to make sure that 
<laughs> I'm, I'm going to start with the assumption that he's asleep, right? So that's the first thing. I'm going to uh, make sure that I uh, think that he's asleep. Now, I have my weight of breaking out of my loop. There are certain situations here in which I'm going to just explain for a second. And now here's the part that I just check for, <laughs> you know, if the user is alive. I think there's another way of doing this, but this is kind of like the manual way. First, I grab my position of the mouse right now. And second of all, later on, I'm going to grab the position again and then compare the two. That's if they're right. exactly the same, then the mouse haven't moved. And that means that, you know, you haven't done anything and probably you're not in the computer. That's one way of checking. The second way is by waiting for keyboard input. So if you press anything on the keyboard, it would also count as input. That's my second part here, that if there is anything in that variable, that's another way for me to know that you're not asleep. So those are the, this is my if statement up here. This is my check. And after I do that, I will do it several times, probably, you know, um, 60 times because it's one time, one second each time. And after that, I will destroy the GUI. And if you are asleep, so in, if you never actually pressed your keyboard or moved your mouse, then I will go ahead and pause YouTube. That's my uh, um, loop right here. And again, whenever you enter an infinite loop, in this case, this is another one, which is kind of like, always be careful with these guys. I'm checking if the windows, uh, the window that has YouTube is not active. If it is not active, I will go ahead and try to activate it. And usually I will try to do that until the window is active. But what happens if my script never activates the window, right? For whatever reason, I don't know, whatever reason, then just try that 10 times and then just break, right? And again, when I go out of that loop, I do not assume that the window is active. I will check again. If the window is active, then go ahead and send the key. If not, don't do that. Um, so, so again, keep always this in mind whenever you have a loop. And if that loop is an infinite loop, it's not a specific amount of times, have a way to go out of there. <laughs> You're going to regret it if you don't. Um, but that's it. That's it. That's the little script. We just go ahead and run it. Um, again, this is a... Uh, keyboard. Let's go ahead and stop this for a second. Let me make it one minute. Let's just go ahead and rerun it. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to YouTube for a second. Uh, it doesn't matter what I put in there. Right. I'm going to have it paused for the second. And now I'm going to press the F12 key. After one minute, so at 41 more or less, um, I should get a, a banner at the bottom that says that, you know, there hasn't been any, you know, uh, that, that the video will be paused in the meantime. So I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. Um, and let me see. <clears throat> as soon as that banner shows up, that's the cool thing. I could just move the mouse and it will go away and it will just wait for the next minute. Or if I press my keyboard, um, it would also just disappear and continue with the next one. Now, I'm. that's one of the things that I hate about uh, waiting for stuff like this is that I feel like it should have done it already. Let's see where we are. Yeah, we are here. Let's break right here. Let's see if it breaks. So it is actually doing the sleep. How many minutes? One times, oh, there it is, yeah. There should be. So if I go ahead and it's just like my patience is not that much. <laughs> so, oh, I don't know if you noticed the banner was down there for a second. Uh, yeah. And then as soon as I moved the mouse, it just went away. Right now it should be on the loop again. Right. So my patience is not enough. Right. <laughs> just one minute. And I was still well, like, okay, hold on. You know, why don't you, why don't you just change the, instead uh, of times 60, do it times 10. Um, you mean, oh, yeah, hey, yeah, sure. Right. And then that. that way it'll be um, six yeah, seconds. So, so yeah, right. it should be kind of like quicker. Yeah, Let's exactly. Just go ahead and. Because I, I understand. I mean, I, I was going to say I could just pause the video for a bit so people aren't waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, no, it is okay. It doesn't matter. In any case, the only thing is that um, there is my, there is my, as soon as I move the mouse, it goes away, right? 
Um, now let's wait a little bit more. Let me just press something on the keyboard. That, that, this is exactly what you want because yeah, if you're kind yeah, of nodding yeah. off, you're like, no, I still I'm there. Okay, but so I press something on my to... keyboard. Yeah. So in this type, I, I press something on my keyboard, and now I'm gonna just leave it. I'm just gonna, and you will see how the video should actually start. So now it's right. gonna wait a little bit. Um, in here, it's just toggle. waiting, yeah. right? And it should go away and then start the video. That's my main. There it is. In, in general, if the video is actually running, what it should do is actually pause the video. So yeah. it would do the opposite yeah. of whatever it's doing. And again, this is a toggle. So I could just go ahead and, um, and press the... Go back um, to your code, please. Just so, yes, so yes, yes. say, you know, if you wanted to do something else like hibernate, you know, or shut down. Right, um, sure. So Which is the only thing I'd say is... Yeah, we could just go ahead and... I would consider changing the name of that, the, the pause YouTube... To, to, to be something broader, but it doesn't matter, right? I mean, in this case, we're pausing it, but... Right, but in any case, it could be anything action. like perform action, right. probably right. like shut down hibernate PC if you want. And, and for those who don't know how to do that, you could actually use the run command with the shutdown, shutdown minus... So... You could use the minus T in there. Yeah, that has a timer on it as well, right? That right, yeah, the shutdown. You can have a timer for that. Yeah. So I, I I have kind of like in my uh, snippet uh, library here, I have this piece of code that is exactly like that. It just it has a little GUI. Whatever you put in there gets passed to the shutdown command with whatever type, whatever time you have. So you can have one hour you know, and schedule it, and it would schedule your shutdown in one hour. So, yeah, yeah you could actually just use the run command like this uh, right here, and it would be the same, right? So you could perform any action you want after uh, you confirm that the person is actually <laughs> asleep. So basically, this is a very simple script. We were just uh, playing a little bit about uh, with it. And, yeah, you could go ahead and... Um, oh, there's another one. Yeah, that's... a. Uh, so that's another so way of doing it. Yeah, another one for suspend or hibernate. Right. I have hotkeys assigned to those, so I, I got rid of the hotkey, but um, yeah, yeah. That's... So you have the power. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is one of the the local um, um, libraries that you could actually call uh, the power profession. Um, uh, and this is the the one that allows you to set different states for the computer. You can actually suspend it. That's a sleep and one for a hibernate. And I think you should be able to put another one in here. I think there's three of them. I will double check on that later, but I haven't used it that much. Um, but there you go. This is a very quick uh, way for you to verify that somebody <laughs> is asleep or not. But like, just get the position. And um, I was using a sleep in here instead of this. But I noticed that the wait function for the input hook, I could put a timer on it, like a timeout, mm -hmm. and the timeout would be one second. So I had kind of like a sleep 1000 in here between the two mouse positions. But I just noticed that with the wait, with the wait function, I could have my one second delay. So it's the same. And, and actually, yeah, and this, and this input hook also captures the mouse movement. That's the reason why if you move the mouse, it actually does not wait the full second. It just goes ahead and um, verifies that you just um, uh, performed something. So Another great use of this, um, I, I know my friend, Dr. Cook, he, uh, you know, he has computers from his, he's a professor, right? Yep. He, uh, he has computers from school, and they are forced that after X amount of time we're without movement, it will lock the screen. You know, it yes. comes up with an auto lock and they have the crazy passwords. So you could do this, this too. <laughs> yeah, just before it happens to say like, Hey, it's about to lock. You know, do you want it to yes. lock? Right. Like that, that could be a wicked easy thing to apply. Um, right. Right. And then, then you just, or maybe you could just, um, well, we had it. 
we had to move the mouse. They moved the mouse, exactly. That's yeah, what I was going to say. Like, you could do a little jig. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a very big movement. Right. It's just a little jig, and that's it. Um, you could yeah. prevent the log like that. But, yeah, that's that's um, those are the ways that we could do it. I just changed the timer. So now it's going to be one minute for oh, this good. one and 30 minutes for that one. So it's going to give you at least one minute for you to move the mouse or press a key. And it's going to give you 30 minutes between each break. And again, if you press F12 again, it would just stop the loop. So if you are not watching videos, you can just press it and go out and do whatever you want. And whenever you're watching videos, then you just turn it on again. So, yeah. yeah. Or, or And obviously, it's easy to adapt this to be some other program or something that, on what to, to do. But Yeah, yeah so, long, so long as you change this function to whatever you want, Either, um, yeah. either either modify the function or just call a different function here. And you can call many functions at once. So you, you can sure, do right. basically whatever you want. So long as you know that the person is asleep that, or not um, having inputs here, you can do whatever you want. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so okay, much. perfect. All so, right. See bye. Hey, if you just watched that video and you felt it was a bit over your head, I would recommend reach out to us at joe at theautomator.com and we offer consulting services where we will help educate you and work with you to level you up. To me, it's best ways that you can start learning auto hockey and make really significant jumps is having someone assess where you are and then kind of nudge you a little bit higher and higher um, and get your code worked on by someone who's been doing it for a long time.